Eddie McClurg, with a career spanning decades, has become a familiar face in film and television. Known for her comedic timing and distinctive voice, she has appeared in over 90 films and numerous television shows. From her memorable role in Ferris Bueller's Day Off to the voice of Minnie in Cars, Eddie has brought countless characters to life, earning her a special place in the hearts of audiences. Her talent has made her a sought-after character actress, leaving a lasting impression with each performance. Eddie McClurg is a talented actress known for her roles in film and television. With a career spanning several decades, she has become a familiar face to many. We invite you to reflect on your experiences with Eddie McClurg's work. When was the first time you recognized her? Can you recall a specific scene or moment that left a lasting impression on you? Your most treasured memory or personal experience with this beloved actress is important to us, and we'd be delighted to read about it in the comments. Stay tuned, as we're about to share some interesting facts about Eddie McClurg that range from humorous to surprising and even touching. Your stories and memories add a personal touch to the legacy of this remarkable actress. Eddie McClurg, born on July 23, 1951 in Kansas City, Missouri, grew up in a supportive family that encouraged her creativity. She discovered her passion for acting early in life, participating in school plays, and studying speech and drama in college. Her natural talent for comedy and her distinctive voice caught the attention of audiences and mentors alike. She honed her skills at the renowned Second City Comedy Troupe in Chicago, where she was influenced by the improvisational style of comedy. This experience shaped her approach to acting and helped her develop a unique presence on screen and stage. McClurg's early years were marked by a nurturing environment and influential experiences that set the foundation for her successful career in entertainment. Eddie McClurg is an actress known for her work in film and television. With a career spanning several decades, she has become a familiar face to many. Her roles often showcase her talent for comedy and her ability to bring warmth and humor to the characters she portrays. Eddie's performances have left a lasting impression on audiences, making her a notable figure in the entertainment industry. Her work includes memorable parts in popular movies and TV shows which have earned her a special place in the hearts of viewers. Eddie McClurg's contributions to acting have made her a respected and beloved member of the acting community. Eddie McClurg, known for her comedic roles, found her love for acting early in life. As a child, she enjoyed making people laugh and soon realized that she could turn this into a career. Her journey began in earnest when she joined the school play and felt the thrill of performing before an audience. This experience solidified her decision to become an actress. She loved the joy of storytelling and the ability to bring characters to life, which drove her to pursue acting professionally. Her passion grew with every performance, leading her to a successful career in film and television. Eddie McClurg, known for her acting skills, is a member of the Democratic Party. She gained popularity as Bonnie Brindle in the TV show Small Wonder. Eddie left Small Wonder during its third season to join the cast of Valerie full-time. In the final two seasons of Small Wonder, her character was mentioned but not seen, and Ida Me, Brandon's sister, took on a more prominent role. Eddie also played Chastity Pariah in Elvera, Mistress of the Dark. This film was a chance for her to work with Cassandra Peterson again, along with other actors like Lynn Marie Stewart and John Paragon, who were all part of the Los Angeles comedy group The Groundlings. This connection led to their casting in the movie. Eddie McClurg began her career with a strong passion for acting, but she faced many challenges. Early in her journey, she struggled with limited funds and had to take on various jobs to support herself. The acting industry was also doubtful of her abilities, which made it hard for her to find roles. Despite these obstacles, Eddie showed great determination. She used her natural talent for comedy to create unique characters that stood out. Her hard work paid off as she started to get roles that showcased her acting skills. Her story shows that with dedication and creativity, one can overcome tough times and succeed. Eddie McClurg showed her talent for comedy in the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, where she played the role of a car rental agent. This was not her only memorable role. She also appeared in She's Having a Baby alongside Bill Irwin and Larry Hankin. In the television show Valerie, she portrayed Mistress Patty Poole and worked with Judith Cahan, who was her neighbor on the show. Interestingly, both actresses had the chance to play the character Grace, a secretary, but in different versions of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. 
McClurg was in the original movie in 1986, and Cahan was in a television series four years later. McClurg also played a secretary in another 1986 film, Back to School, which, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, was released on the same day, making it a unique occurrence for her career. Eddie McClurg's career saw a significant turn when she played the role of the school secretary in the 1986 film Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Her performance was widely praised and is still remembered by fans for its humor and warmth. Another notable moment was her voice work as Carlotta in The Little Mermaid, which showcased her talent in voice acting and brought her recognition in a new field. Her peers and critics have noted her ability to bring characters to life with authenticity and her skill in comedy. Her work has been influential in showing that supporting roles can be just as memorable as leading ones. Collaborators often speak of her professionalism and the positive atmosphere she creates on set. These achievements have earned her a respected place in the entertainment industry. Eddie McClurg brought her unique touch to the character of Grace in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Her memorable line, he's a righteous dude, was her own creation, spoken in a Chicago accent that wasn't planned in the script. In Carrie, she played Helen, and despite being 30 years old, she convincingly portrayed a high school student, older than most of her castmates, and even two years senior to Betty Buckley, the actress playing the gym teacher. McClurg also appeared in Natural Born Killers as Mallory's mother. Interestingly, the song Back in Baby's Arms features in this movie's soundtrack, connecting it to another film she was in, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, where she also had a brief but notable role. Eddie McClurg, known for her work in film and television, brings a unique touch to her roles with a blend of humor and authenticity. She often plays characters that are memorable because they seem like real people. Her approach to acting involves understanding the character's background and motivations, which allows her to portray them in a way that audiences find relatable and genuine. Her own life experiences, including her Midwestern upbringing, contribute to the warmth and depth she brings to her performances. This personal connection to her roles adds a layer of realism that resonates with viewers. Eddie's style is characterized by her ability to find the heart and humor in every character she plays, making her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Eddie McClurg showed her talent and improvisation in the film Carrie, where she played Helen. Without any lines originally planned for her character, she created all of Helen's dialogue on the spot, which was included in the final cut of the film. In planes, trains, and automobiles, she portrayed the car rental agent, showcasing her ability to bring humor to her roles. Eddie also shares a family connection with Angelique Cabral, being her second cousin. Additionally, she, Larry Hankin, and Carol Bruce have all made appearances in the classic show WKRP in Cincinnati, although they never shared the screen together. Eddie McClurg has been a familiar face in film and television, known for her comedic roles and distinctive voice. She has appeared in many popular movies and TV shows, often playing memorable characters that add humor and warmth to the story. Her work has influenced other actors and comedians, showing how supporting roles can be just as important as leading ones. She has a talent for making each character she plays feel real and relatable, which has earned her respect in the industry. People who have worked with her or have been inspired by her often speak of her ability to bring out the best in a script with her natural acting style. Her performances have left a lasting impression on audiences and fellow actors alike. Eddie McClurg's journey in the world of entertainment and education is a testament to her dedication and skill. With a solid foundation in speech education, she earned her bachelor's degree and went on to obtain a Master of Science from Syracuse University. Her passion for teaching led her to the University of Missouri, Kansas City, where she spent eight years shaping the minds of students in radio. Her expertise was not limited to the classroom. She also excelled as an operations manager, news anchor, and producer for KCUR-FM and National Public Radio from 1966 to 1974. Her transition to the silver screen saw her take on memorable roles, such as the car rental agent in planes, trains, and automobiles. This particular part came to her in an unexpected way. While working on Ferris Bueller's Day Off, director John Hughes handed her a script for a car rental scene to read aloud. Without further comment, he took the script back. To her surprise, months later, Hughes called her to offer the role of the desk clerk, a role that would become one of her most recognized performances. McClurg's versatility shone through in her portrayal of Chastity Pariah in Elvera, Mistress of the Dark. 
The film was a collaborative effort featuring many of Cassandra Peterson's colleagues from The Groundlings, an improvisational and sketch comedy troupe based in Los Angeles. Alongside McClurg were Tress McNay, Joey Arias, Lynn Marie Stewart, Daryl Carroll, and John Paragon, all contributing to the unique humor and style of the movie. These roles highlighted McClurg's ability to bring characters to life with humor and authenticity, making her a beloved figure in comedy and beyond. Eddie McClurg, known for her acting, also leads a life rich with personal interests and values that shape her work. She has a strong commitment to education, having earned a master's degree in speech education and working as a teacher before her acting career. Her love for teaching and learning continues to influence her approach to acting, often bringing depth and authenticity to her roles. McClurg is also known for her love of cars, a hobby that has been featured in documentaries. This unique interest has allowed her to connect with diverse audiences and bring a sense of relatability to her on-screen characters. In terms of philanthropy, McClurg has been involved in various charitable activities, particularly those supporting the arts and education. She believes in giving back to the community and has participated in events and fundraisers that benefit schools and arts programs. Her passion for these causes is evident in her dedication to supporting opportunities for others to learn and grow, reflecting her belief in the power of education and the arts to enrich lives. Eddie McClurg's talent shines in her diverse roles, especially in films recognized for their significance. Her performances in Carrie, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and The Little Mermaid stand out as memorable. Her improvisational skills were highlighted in planes, trains, and automobiles, where she created a humorous scene on the spot, drawing from her own experiences. McClurg's foundation in comedy was built as a member of the Groundlings, where she honed her craft alongside other comedians. Her study with Viola Spallin further enriched her ability to engage audiences with spontaneous humor. Today, she continues to entertain with her quick wit and relatable characters. Eddie McClurg has had a long career filled with diverse roles that have entertained audiences. She has shown that dedication and adaptability are key to longevity in acting. For those starting out, her advice is to stay true to oneself, keep learning, and always be open to new experiences. She believes in the power of persistence and encourages newcomers to not fear rejection, but to use it as a stepping stone to improve. As she looks ahead, she aims to continue exploring different characters and hopes to inspire others by her example. Her journey shows that a career in acting can be fulfilling when one is committed to their craft and open to growth. Eddie McClurg brought to life the character of Grace in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where she worked alongside Louis Anderson, who played a flower deliverman. Anderson later created an episode of his show Life with Louis that nodded to another John Hughes film, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, in which McClurg also acted. In Curly Sue, McClurg played a secretary, and she shared the screen with Allison Porter in an episode of The Golden Girls around the same time. Additionally, McClurg appeared as a car rental agent in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, connecting her once again with her Ferris Bueller's Day Off co-stars Lyman Ward and Ben Stein. These roles highlight her frequent collaborations with Hughes and her connections with other actors across different projects. Eddie McClurg's career in the entertainment industry is a story of dedication and creativity. Starting as a comedian, she quickly found her niche in film and television. Her unique voice and comedic timing made her a familiar face, and she became known for her roles in popular movies and TV shows. Her work has brought laughter and joy to audiences for decades. Eddie's journey shows us that with a love for your craft and the determination to keep going, you can leave a lasting smile on the world. The power of creativity and perseverance shines through in her work, inspiring us all to follow our dreams and keep pushing forward, no matter the challenges. Eddie McClurg brought her own style to the role of Grace in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. She chose a 1960s hairstyle because she believed it suited her character best. Since the set's hairdresser was not skilled in creating such styles, McClurg took matters into her own hands, styling her hair herself. This led to a memorable moment on set when director John Hughes joked about how many pencils could fit in her hair, inspiring a scene in the film where Grace pulls pencils out of her hair. McClurg's journey in comedy began with the Pitchell Players and continued at the Comedy Store where she performed alongside Shirley V and another comedian known for her Belle Adorn braids. These experiences helped shape her approach to comedy, emphasizing quick wit and humor. 
Her first film role was as Helen and Carrie, marking the start of a career that would see her become a familiar face in film and television, always bringing a touch of humor to her characters. Eddie McClurg's talent for comedy and her distinctive presence have made her a memorable part of the entertainment industry. Eddie McClurg, known for her work in film and television, faced a personal challenge when it was reported that she was suffering from dementia. This condition affects memory and cognitive abilities, making daily tasks difficult lieutenant. It's a sad reality for someone who brought laughter to so many. Despite this, her legacy in entertainment continues to bring joy to audiences. Her career spans decades with memorable roles that have become a part of popular culture. Her talent and the joy she brought to the screen remain a bright spot in her story. Eddie McClurg has been a familiar face in film and television, bringing characters to life with her unique charm and humor. From her role as the car rental agent in planes, trains, and automobiles to the school secretary in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, she has created memorable moments that have delighted audiences for years. We invite you to share your favorite performances by Eddie in the comments below. If you enjoy celebrating the talented individuals who entertain us, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Your support helps us continue to highlight the wonderful world of entertainment. Let's honor the work of Eddie McClurg together.